People think of the word sacrifice in English, and that means to give up something. But in Islam, when you sacrifice for the sake of Allah, you're gaining something. Nowadays, you go to many places and they just can't go beyond the perception of Islam being linked with extremism, terrorism. How as young Imams are you and your fellow colleagues and the Imams from all these other Jamias going to change that? We have to engage with the public. Today, it is literally swimming against one of the greatest tides in history, um, rewriting the narrative about Islam. The yeah. mission that we face is apparently impossible. Yeah. How are you going to be doing this? We're a very small community. We have to demonstrate through our actions that Islam is a religion not only of peace, but it has real practical solutions. Because my father was an Imam, we virtually grew up at a mosque. Personally, I had never heard the word Jamia before in my life. Because everything that we are, at least in my personal life, has been the Jamaat. So I asked one of the Khudam what Jamia is, and they said that's where missionaries uh, are graduate. So from, from, a, from a very young age, it was kind of understood that our happiness lies in having a relationship with this man whom we call Hazur Anwar. So the seven years that I spent in Jamia, I was um, away from my family. I got married uh, two years ago by God's grace. I got married just under two years ago. I was able to spend uh, about three and a half weeks with my wife after our marriage and uh, to come back to Canada. I told uh, His Holiness before I left that uh, my wife will be expecting in the days that I'll be in Pakistan, but you are our inspiration. When you were in Africa and you found out through Al Fazl, a magazine that you had been blessed with a daughter. So we want to follow your footsteps. Hazur smiled and then he said, yeah, but you're gonna have WhatsApp. To date, um, I only know her on, through an online relationship. It's a e relationship. Um, she knows me as this rectangle that talks to her and whatnot. Have you met your child since she I was have, born? I haven't met her yet. Uh, she's about four months old. In 10 hours, you're gonna be finishing, yes. culminating and you spent seven really years good. all the stuff that you're talking about. We don't matter. It's not about Basil or Sabahat or anyone else. That, in fact, is representative of a waqf zindagi All those people in Africa and Pakistan who don't get to do that, I con I'm convinced and I believe that they're more deserving than I am of getting that sanad. So tomorrow when we're getting this, I have that in mind and that's why I'm so emotional. Nothing could be more perfect uh, of an opportunity to be receiving such a blessing from the very blessed hand of Hazur Anwar. It's almost surreal right now. Uh, it's the type of feeling that uh, you reflect on later on because you cannot really entirely grasp the importance and significance of it in your life. So you've been with this class seven years. Yeah, seven what years. was the last discussion you were having about this moment? You know what's interesting is that last night no one said a word about it. Yes. It was just quiet. جذبات بعض کات الفاظ میں بیان کرنے بڑے مشکل ہوتے ہیں میرے جذبات اس وقت اللہ تعالی کی ہم سے بھرے ہوئے ہیں یہ تو ایک حصہ کمپلیٹ کیا ہے اپنی ایجوکیشن جو ہے تعلیم جو ہے بیسک قسم کی لیکن اگے ساری زندگی جو ہے اس تعلیم کو پھیلانا اس کو اگے بڑھانا یہ اگے اللہ تعالی اس میں ہمیشہ کامیاب کرے ان سب جو اس مقصد کے لیے آئے ہیں یہاں پر اس کو اعلی رنگ میں یہ کر سکیں اور جو ہماری فیلنگ ہے اس کا تو الفاظ میں کوئی میں بالکل قطن بیان نہیں کر سکتا After the Khalif al-Masih, the most patient man in the world is definitely my dad and that um, I would be nowhere without his uh, support. He, he gave everything, you know, everything for, for me. آپ لوگوں نے بھی وقف کا ایک عہد کیا ہے اب وفا کا تقاضا یہ ہے کہ اس عہد کو پورا کر کے دکھائیں It just passed by so fast that when I got close uh, Hazur Anwar heard my name and he said the complete name he said Basil Raza Bhatt and then he looked at me and began asking for my health right up there I'm nervous, I hope I don't uh, mess up because you know you have to take the certificate and you have to take the Quran and whatnot from Hazur Anwar and you also have to shake his hand but you you want to kiss his hand as well 
and then the whole world is watching. Huzur's speech put everything into perspective. You know, we've read about Wafa for seven years, the idea of loyalty. But Huzur Anwar, he said, look at the Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. Do you want to know what loyalty looks like? This is loyalty. And it made me realize that I have to develop my inner Abraham. You realize that you're sitting there, feet away, having lunch with Hazrat Khalif al-Masih. So Huzur Anwar was walking, uh, he left his seat and got up to leave. And he came very close to us. Uh, in the rush of it, I was just in awe of his beauty and, and the majesty and grace of that man. Um, so I didn't notice, but somebody had stuffed something into my hand. It took me a moment to realize that it was actually Huzur Anwar's tissue, as well as the wipe that the blessed wipe that he had used to clean his blessed hands with. I remember that was the moment where I, I just burst into tears. It was my first mulaqat in the, the new office of Huzur Anwar, and I can't. It's difficult to describe, like for a man to love like a mother, every person who walks in, you have to see it to understand. I was very happy to say that when I was waiting for this, I was very happy to say that my life has never been so happy in my life. That the Khalifa of Work has also been given to me, and my son has become a rabbi. It was the fact that I got to meet my Rabbi and my Rabbi. It was the fact that I got to meet my my spiritual father with my physical father on the day that I received my my certificate. It couldn't have been more perfect for me. Yeah, you can say, doctor, engineer, kuch bhi ban jata, to shayad mujhe itni khushi na hoti. Jis maksad ke liye gaya hai aur jo ban gaya hai, is unparalleled. I feel great pain for. Those people who don't have this man. हम अपने आप को हम इतना बड़ा खुशकिस्मत समझ रहे थे कि शायद हमारे से बड़ा को दुनिया में खुशकिस्मत इंसान नहीं है कोई भी इस वक्त जो दो हम वाकफ़ ज़िंदगी के लिए वक्त के सामने बैठे हुए हैं। I was almost over, but at the barakat we needed to get 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 a few things blessed as we as we struggle to open up the 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 honey bottles. There's two of them actually, and we both struggle to open them up. The the blessed signatures of Hazur Anwar in the very Tafsir al-Saghir, the Holy Quran's copy that he himself uh, gave us for the convocation. So it's that's what I get from Hazur that he's going to keep giving to us. But we need to start learning to give back. What do you miss about Canada the most? Home, Canada's home. I have to say that now um, I was reflecting on the meaning of the word home, and home is going to be wherever. Azur sends us. That's for a work for Zindagi. That's going to be where home is. Yeah, the people. To me, home is is the people. Now you've graduated, you'll soon find out where in the world you'll be. Inshallah. What would you guys say is your biggest fear now? Of disappointing Azur and, yeah. and my Lord. When there's this relationship of love, and you realize, wow, yeah. if I don't do this, <coughs> he's going to be disappointed. The and amount of love that he has, it would. That would crush me most. Yeah. After the amount of love that he's shown us in the last many years, especially as people have devoted our lives, it would be heart, heart-stoppingly painful. After me, has Muslim mouth ke alfaz me, meri bhi ye dua hai, aap ke liye ki maurde fazlo karam varis se imane huda, aashik-e ahmedo, mahabub-e khuda ho jao.